Welcome to an all new edition of Randall Riley's Weekly Report. I'm Joshua Miller. Let's get right into it. This week in job board searches and clicks. Driver job board activity posted low to mid single digit decreases for both searches and clicks. That means last week's activity was at the lowest since the beginning of 2019. Now, before we jump into the actual numbers, I do want to take a moment to point out that moving forward from this point, any year over year metrics are not going to be all that useful as this is right around the time that the pandemic really started taking effect and we saw big changes throughout everyday activity. We will still provide them for you here, but just know a far more useful metric to look to as we move deeper into 2021 is going to be the month over month metric. Okay, here we go. Truck driver searches were down 3% week over week and 5% month over month, but we're still up 8% year over year. Clicks on driver postings were down across the board. They dropped by 5% week over week, 34% month over month, and 52% year over year. Now, there could be numerous factors at play for the drop in search and click activity, but the recent stimulus checks are likely one of, if not the, primary cause. This week in freight. Overall load posting volume rose 3% week over week, and that's as dry van load postings fell by 2% week over week, though it remained 78% higher than the same week in 2020. Refrigerated remained flat week over week, but 88% higher than in 2020. And flatbed load posts climbed 6% week over week, which sets yet another all-time weekly high. This is now the fifth consecutive week a record has been set, and these flatbed numbers are now around three and a half times higher than what we saw in the same week of 2020, which was, again, right in the middle of flatbed's decline due to COVID. So again, keep in mind, all of these yearly figures are going to be skewed from this point out because of all the disruption we saw due to the COVID pandemic. So all of these numbers being so much higher than 2020 is good to know, but take it with a grain of salt. At this point, we're comparing data from today to a very irregular time, okay? Truck postings rose by 1% week over week with dry van falling 2% week over week while refrigerated rose by six and flatbed rose by 4% week over week. The ratio of loads to trucks was also up and came in at the third highest level on record. Spot rates were up three cents per mile week over week overall, although each segment fared a little differently. Dry van fell by five cents, refrigerated rain remained flat and flatbed rose by six cents week over week. These rates are now 31% higher than the same week of 2020. And now for our story of the week. A new bill has been reintroduced to both chambers of Congress, which if passed, would allow CDL holders under the age of 21 to cross state lines. The Developing Responsible Individuals for a Vibrant Economy Act, or the Drive Safe Act, Washington really loves acronyms, Anyway, if the new bill is passed, it would classify an 18 to 20 year old CDL holder as an apprentice. These apprentices would be accompanied by an experienced driver during their apprenticeship, which would entail a total of 400 on-duty hours and 240 driving hours to complete. Apprentices would also be required to meet specific training requirements to progress through the program. The bipartisan legislation was first drafted and introduced back in 2018, but it failed to become law. The bill currently garners support from the American Trucking Associations, but has met resistance from the Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association. We'll keep an eye on it, but only time will tell if the bill makes it into law this time around. And that does it for another weekly report. Thanks so much for joining us again. We'll see you back here next Wednesday as we take a look back to help you move forward. Until then, have a great week, everybody.